Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadosh. We come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the day lesson is The Blood Moon. The Blood Moon. I like to say Shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will strengthen you today, edify you today, and bring you back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the ideal about it, we are living in the signs of the time right now. We are we're at the beginning of the end, the beginning of sorrow. And a lot of things are taking place. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled left and right. Read, read upon World War III, uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, volcanoes erupt. So the, the, everything is, 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 is raging. Everything is getting to, is building up. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And the men of the Lord have been signed and crying left and right, telling you to repent, come back to your true power. The house of David is standing up tall right now. And I deal about it. We are not ceasing. We are continuing to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I deal about it. the sign of the times are showing up. They're showing out left and right. Measure the time diligently. Dr. I deal about it. We are living in the last day. And we're right upon that great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the second coming of our Lord and Savior. Our redemption is very near than we yet believe. You see all these chariot sightings all over the world, everywhere you look, they're all over, all over America, all over. Uh, 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 the four corners of the earth, and I deal about the Bible prophecy of being fulfilled left and right. The Spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth right now, and I deal about it. It's time for you to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and I deal about it. The signs of the times are here. Uh, Wednesday, May 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 uh, 26, uh, Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, is a blood moon, and I deal about it. a lot of things are getting ready to occur. A lot of things are getting ready to happen. We're at the beginning of of the end, and I do about we are living in the last day. It's time for us to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with everything you got. You must stay on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because this kingdom is falling. Babylon the Great is getting ready to go down. Transition of power is taking place. It's getting ready to try to set the new world order, but it will not work because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is getting ready to put things back in order. So what I do about it, I put together a little short video and hope that you get edified by it about the blood moon that after. After we get done with the video, we'll have a few, a few uh, precepts to lock it and a few uh, scriptures and hope that you get edified by the lesson today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we'll get started with this little uh, video clip. Then after the video clip, I will put a few precepts around it and scriptures and hope this will help, help you today and strengthen you that you will come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. One moment. I hope that you can see it well. And here we go. <clears throat> Super Blood Moon, the 26th of May 2021. Here's what the Bible says about celestial signs. A new lunar eclipse or blood moon is on the way set to take place on the 26th of May, 2021, and it will be at least partially visible from Eastern Asia, Australia, the Pacific Ocean, and much of the Americas. Lunar eclipse is caused by the moon going through Earth's shadow in space. This particular one is being called a super blood moon, and it will be the first total eclipse since January, 2019. The eclipse will occur as the moon gets closer to the Earth during its orbit, according to Forbes.com. This supermoon full moon will move into Earth's dark central umbral shadow where it will appear as a blood moon for 15 minutes, briefly turning the lunar surface a reddish copper color. Space.com explains a blood moon occurs when the moon moves completely into the deepest part of Earth's shadow, but the moon turns red instead of going black. The red color comes from some of the sunlight passing through Earth's atmosphere where it gets bent and colors like blue or green are filtered out, leaving behind longer wavelengths like the color red. Biblical Implications of Blood Moons Even though there are scientific explanations for these types of blood moons, many Christians also see prophetic implications behind them. That's because they are directly mentioned in scripture. A blood moon is foretold by the Bible in the book of Joel 2.31 which states, The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Also in Acts 2.20, The sun shall be turned into darkness, 
and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And, in the book of Revelation 6.12, a blood moon also is prophesied, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and, lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. All of the scriptures refer to the moon turning blood red as a heavenly sign the end times are fast approaching. Numerous blood moon events have occurred throughout history since those passages were written. But Jesus told his followers that we should observe the signs of the times, including signs in the heavens. And some preachers claim the large number of blood moon eclipses in recent years are just one of many signs that the end of the world is drawing closer and could happen in the near future. Students of biblical prophecy point to other historic events like the founding of the modern state of Israel in 1948, the return of millions of Jews to the Holy Land and potential precursors to the biblical mark of the beast as further signs of the end times. Jesus says in Luke 21 25 28, and there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And Psalms 19, 1 says more broadly, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I deal about it. We are living in that time right now. So you must know the signs of the time because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the second coming, our Lord and Savior, is very close. Uh, a lot of things are, are beginning to happen. And I deal about it. the blood moon is, is a fastly approach. And I deal about it. there are signs of the time of, of a redemption, of uh, uh, total death and destruction. Judgment is on the way. Judgment, redemption. And also, our Lord and Savior, the coming of him, uh, of our Lord and Savior, yes, Salaki, our Lord and Savior, he is on the way. He is getting ready to redeem the one-third, the house of David, the one that stayed loyal to him 2,000 years ago. And, and we've been signing and crying left and right, trying to get you to repent. But that deal about it, we're at the beginning of the end. Blood and moon mean the beginning, the signs of the end. A lot of things are getting ready to happen. You see uh, 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 rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes of the people. And Idil Bad is only going to get worse. We're coming right upon Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. And Idil Bad, it's time to heed, watch, and pray very closely, very, very, very closely, because we are in the last days. We're coming up on some perilous time, a global event that you had never seen before. So I hope that you got edified by the video. And then at the end of that video, it had an hourglass. We are running out of time. You know what I'm saying? It's the signs of the times are right here. Now, the sands in the hourglass are getting very low. So the idea, the idea about the door of repentance is closed. And the Lord is getting ready to bring that judgment. You know, recompense the judgment is on the way. So it's time to seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So we get started in the book of Genesis. One moment. One moment. Open my tablet back up. We get started in the book of Genesis. One moment. One moment. <clears throat> the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 and God said let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for the days and years so that I deal about it when he when he created the sun and the moon they were for the time for the time the season the days and the years so that I deal about it 
that you see the changing of the sea. You see the changing of the days. Everything is, is, is getting ready to go back into order. All hell is getting ready to break loose. The spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. You know, that's why you must measure the time diligently in itself. And I did about you must watch, pray, and be sober because the idea about we read upon the kingdom of heaven. So you got to watch the sign to see. That's why he put the, 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 the greater light, which in fact is the sun, and the lesser light, which is the moon, to show the signs of the, of the coming events that's getting ready to take place on this earth. Bible prophecy being fulfilled left and right. You know what I'm saying? The blood moon is coming May, uh, May 26th, May 26th, Wednesday. And the idea about it, you must watch, pray, and be sober. Because we do not know the, the hour and the time when I when our Lord is say real return, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. But by the signs of the time in the Bible prophecy, they are lining up like clockwork. And we know we are very close. So rejoice ye heaven. Because the idea about it, we are very close to that second coming, our Lord and Savior. And the idea about it, the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. You know, knowing that he had just a short time because he's watching the signs of the time also from the left hand side. But the idea about it, our Lord and Savior is getting ready to put this red devil back into slavery where he belonged, into slavery, Salah, and the other nation. So now let's go to uh let's go to Joel. Let's go to Joel chapter two. <clears throat> let's go to Joel chapter two, and we'll start up at verse 28. Joel chapter two and verse 28. And it reads, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. Verse 29, and also upon the servants, upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Verse 30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, and fire and pillars of smoke. Verse 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon unto blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. Our Lord and Savior, which in fact is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And verse 32, and it reads, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall, shall be delivered. For, the, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said in in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So that deal about it, he shall call the house of David, that one third, the one that stayed loyal to him. And that deal about it, he's showing a lot of signs, a lot of earthquakes, a lot of uh, pestilence, a lot of things are taking place, uh, uproars of the people, uh, rumors of World War III, all this is taking place. Just like the Bible said, his word would not return to him for. And that deal about it is that we're living right in the last day, in the final days of our, our Lord and Savior. He's getting ready to return. And we've been signing and crying left and right, trying to get you to repent. The Spirit of the Lord has moved through the earth. A lot of uh, 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 people, he said he, he will pour out his flesh on all uh, all nations of people. You know, the heathen nation, also the two-thirds and the one-third, which in fact are the Israelites. If you're a Negro, a Native American, a Hispanic, his spirit is all through the earth. You know, his his word is going out through the four corners of the earth. We are very close to the end. Bible prophecy are jumping off the page, left and right. That blood moon is very important coming up Wednesday. And I deal about it. Something is getting ready to happen. But I deal about it. A great global event is getting ready to take place. We are right upon the beginning of a sorrow. That great hour of temptation is coming upon us at a fast pace. Time to seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now, let's go to all. Uh, Let's go to Revelation to get a little bit more edification. <clears throat> Let's go to Revelation chapter, chapter, what chapter I want to go to? Chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6. One moment. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12. And it reads, and, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Verse, verse 13, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as the fig tree causes her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Verse 14, and the heavens departed as a stroll when it, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Verse 15, the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men 
and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountain. Verse 16, and said to the mountain and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. Verse 7, for that great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand. So the idea about the one that will be able to just stand is the house of David, the one third, the one is leaning on him each and every day and trusting and building our faith each and every day. So that great day is coming. You know, the idea about the IBCM missile when he said, you know, it would go together like a scroll. And the idea about that, 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 that is a, a representation of the, the atomic bombs getting ready to pivot uh, Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? We are in revised Rome, and I deal about it. this place is getting ready to be totally destroyed. When he opened that sixth seal, in between the sixth seal and the seventh seal, uh, the, the, the one that stayed Lord to him, the house of day, will be redeemed during that time. So we'll be beamed up on those ships, and I deal about it. Anyone that's not in his great wisdom and knowledge will be destroyed. So the deal about it is very important to know the signs of the time and the blood moon that is coming up. It is signifying the end time is signifying a, 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 a transition of power. It's signifying our Lord and Savior is getting ready to return and set things back into order. And, you know, we're getting ready to go back in our first estate, above all nations, rulership, uh, spiritual power, all, all sorts of things are coming that people that have no idea beyond their imagination because they unbelief, they were ungrateful, and I deal about they would die in their unfaithfulness, and I deal about a wickedness had exceeded, exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and it is right. It is harvest time. We are read upon that great and glorious day of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So this is the beginning of the end, the beginning of sorrow, the beginning of Jacob's trouble. They are getting ready to come down with a great flood. The men of the Lord are signing and crying left and right. We are signing like a broken record, but the idea about it, we are compelled to do the will of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now, let's go to Matthew chapter 24. One moment. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29. Matthew uh, chapter 24 and verse 29. Get a little more, more edification. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verse 30, and then shall appear the son of man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So the idea about it is that he's getting ready to come and redeem the elect, the house of David, you know, that one third remnant, you know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to set up the kingdom of heaven. And I deal about it, you know what I'm saying? We cannot wait to get out of here and get back into our first estate. And I deal about it. When that great and glorious day come, like the, the moon was, was darkened, the sun did not give his light. And I deal about it, it's an indication of the end of day. And, the, and, 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 and hey, one thing about it, it's time to seek the Lord right now. Why you have, why you can find him? Because that, the idea about it, when that time come, and this word be cut off, and everyone gonna be standing in a lot, and the idea about it, it's up to you right now to accept Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If you do not, you will be caught up in this last and final conflict, which in fact is that great lake of fire, the second, the second death. And the idea about it, he said, famine, death, and pex, pestilence, all sorts. of of wickedness, all sorts of even it would be going on during that time, a great time of trouble that you had never seen before, that great tribulation period, you know, which in fact is Jacob's trouble. We read upon it. So it's time to watch and pray and be sober and come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So now, let's go to Joel, get a little bit more edification. Let's go back to Joel, Joel chapter 3, and we'll start up, let's start up at verse 12. Joel chapter 3 and verse 12. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Verse 13. But ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the 
the press is full, the fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Verse 14, multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision, for, for the day of the Lord is near, and the valley, near in the valley of decision, Salaki. Verse 15, the sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. So we're coming right upon Wednesday, May the 26th. And the idea about it, we do not know that the, the, the time and the hour when our Lord will, will return. But the idea about it, you seeing that the blood moon signifying the end time. We right there. All the Bible prophecy are jumping off the pages left and right. And the idea about it, when the Lord returns, he's getting ready to gather all nations. The one that uh, the afflicted of, the one that went against you, how about Shem, you know what I'm saying, against the word. And I deal about it. And also Esau Edom, you know, judgment is coming upon all those heathen nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's the, this, the valley of the city. That's where he will plead for his people. And I deal about it. You know, a blood moon will occur. The, the moon will be, uh, uh, will, will be, be darkened. It will become blood red. So that's a sign of war is coming. We read upon World War Three. We just seen what happened in the Middle East. They saying a cease fire. But in, when they say peace and safety, Total destruction read right upon us. So we read right upon World War Three. We are not uh, uh, ignorant of Satan's devices, his evil schemes, his evil plan. And I deal about it that we are watching each and every day. We are walking in, in the spirit, you know, and walking in faith each and every day. Because we trust and believe. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, put your trust in him and everything will go well. And I deal about it, we are read right upon that great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter three. One moment. Ecclesiastes chapter three. One moment. We'll start up at verse one. Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse two, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. So the idea about it, we read upon the great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Everything that's been planted, everything it, 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 it has been sown, and everyone is standing in a lot right now. The righteous and the wicked, and the idea about it, they are right. They are ready for the harvest of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And the idea about it, that great day is right upon us. We've been signing crying. We're signing the Lord each and every day. The men of the Lord making these videos. Men of the Lord are in the highways and the byways. And the idea of the is getting ready to come to an end because the Lord is getting ready to bring recompense and judgment upon the entire uh, 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 earth. And the idea of the you know what I'm saying? In, 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 in those days, you know what I'm saying? You will be ready for, for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You'll be trying to call on him, but he will not hear you because you despise the word. You despise the prophet because we're right in the end in time right now the signs of the times are right here we are here so the idea about it is time to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai now let's go to a quick precept let's go to uh see where I want to go to let's go to Revelation chapter 3 and 3 one moment Revelation chapter 3 and verse 3 and it reads remember Therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour will, will I come upon thee. So thou deal about it. It's time to seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. The men of the Lord, we've been sighing and crying. This is coming to an end, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to pull this truth out of the out of the world. He's getting ready to bring that judgment. You know, the idea about it. Knowing the true names of the Heavenly Father, which in fact, the, 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 the Father's name, the great king that sits on the throne is Yahweh. And, the, the, and our Lord and Savior, the one that's getting ready to return, that second coming, is, is Yahweh, Shah, our great Lord and Savior, and great deliverer. We right there, we right here, and we are rejoicing. And the idea about it, we knowing the signs of the time, we seeing it. You know what I'm saying? We ready for this wicked, wicked kingdom to end and I deal about it and be set back in order and be in our first estate you know what I'm saying above all nations we are ready for that the, the one that stayed Lord to him the house of David he said I will I will raise up the old tabernacle of David he's doing it each and every day you know he's bringing in the breach and all the 12 tribes we are coming back together the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth it's time to seek the Lord anyone that did not seek 
Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man or woman, great or small, rich or poor, shall be put to death. We read upon that time right now. It's time to heed, time to watch and pray and be sober. Now, let's see where I want to go to now. Let's go to uh let's go to um see where I want to start up here. Let's go to Mark. Let's go to Mark chapter 13. Mark chapter 13. One moment. Let's see where I want to, what verse I want to start up at. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. One moment. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. We'll start up there. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. And it reads, But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father in heaven. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Verse 33, take heed, watch, pray, for ye know not when the time is. So right now, you don't know when the Lord will crack the sky from the east, the brightness of his coming, and them glorious uh, chariots, you know what I'm saying? When you read about that in Psalm 68 and 17, you know, he, he is coming in that great glory and that great power. You know, he coming back. He would not meet thee as a man. He is coming in that great angelic force. You know what I'm saying? That he coming back in his great glory and power, magnificent power. And so the world had never seen before. You know what I'm saying? When you read about that and wisdom of Solomon, a uh, uh, five and one, when they say, you know, uh, we're standing, they will be, they're strangers of his salvation. They will be uh, 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 puzzled. They will be, uh, uh, it, it, it'll be, it be, they just be out of their mind. They be bugged out. But the men of the Lord, we have that stability of the time. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. We in that time right now. That's what, that what, that is going to protect us and because we are believing that we're going to be redeemed and get out of here. And the rest of everyone else that, that's, that's left behind will be destroyed. IBC on missiles are coming to destroy this place. Everything that you see and know is getting ready to be destroyed. The Lord is getting ready to cleanse this place. And also Israel will be wiped off the map. It will be cleansed before we touch, touch back down in the Holy Land. I cannot wait to get back in our rightful place and back into the Holy Land and back on the righteousness forever and forever with our Lord and Savior forever and forever. So we'll get another quick precept and then we'll close out. Let's go to Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. And we'll start up. Let's see what verse I want to start up at. Luke chapter 21. We'll start up at verse 25. One moment. Luke chapter 21 and, and verse 25. We'll start up here. One moment. And it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, uh, distress of nations and uh, per perplexity and the seas and the, the, the waves roaring. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of uproar, a lot of people are being a, 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 a puzzle, an unbelief. A lot of things are taking place. A lot of people knowing things are getting ready to have great fear of falling on the, the heathen nation. Also, Esau, even the so-called uh, red man, because the idea about it, they, they are seeing the signs of the time. And they spirit, they knowing that judgment is coming. And the idea about it is coming at a fast pace. So the idea about it, it's time to seek your true power. So now, if you are Israelite, and an idea about it is that, let's start back up uh, uh, Luke chapter 21 and verse 26. A man, a man's heart failing them for fear and looking at, so like, let me start over again. Luke chapter 21 and verse 26. Men's hearts fell, failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verse 27. And then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. Verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draws near. So that I deal about it. look up your salvation is very close than you yet believe. When you go to Romans chapter 13 and 11, they'll tell you the same thing. So that I deal about it. knowing the signs of the time, knowing we read upon that great and glorious day of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, knowing that our salvation is very close. You know, we are hasting that green glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. We are watching the signs of the time. We are always looking up. The men of the Lord are always looking up. All these cherries. We are rejoicing because we knowing that the Spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. He is making it happen right now. And I deal about it. He is ready to redeem us. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I deal about it. We, we at the end time. Everything is white, right. And uh, uh, wickedness is it, 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 just done 
contaminated the whole earth and it will be cleansed with fire. And that great and glorious day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is on the way. That second coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I did about it. We must know the blood moon, the title of the day lesson, the blood moon. And I did about it. It's coming Wednesday, May the 26th. So keep your eyes on the prize. It's the kingdom of heaven. And I did about it. And the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. So I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rikakadash. And I like to say Shalom.